maybe we really are just one example in an infinite sea of possible universes with slightly different laws of physics. So if I can do some of these things on paper, like imagine a higher dimensional space in which I'm confined to a brain and there's another brain or maybe a whole array of them, maybe nature's tried that out somewhere. Maybe that's been tried out here. Um, and then, yes, is it possible that there's life and civilizations on those other brains? Yeah, but we can't communicate with them. They'd be like in a shadow space. Can you seriously say we can't communicate with them? Well, Wait, so I, it's, no, it's... that's fair. I, there, I'm limited in my communication because right. I'm glued to the brain, but some things can move. We call the bulk through the bulk. Gravity, for instance, a gravitational wave. So I could design a gravitational communicator communication mm. system. Yeah. And I could send gravitational waves through the bulk. And how SETI's doing with light into space, I could um, send signals into the bulk, nice. telling them where we are and what we do and of course, singing songs. <laughs> sending gravitational waves is very expensive. We don't know how to Very expensive, them. very hard to localize. They tend to be long wavelength and very hard to do. A lot of energy moving lot around. Of energy. <laughs> uh, so is it possible that the membranes are quote unquote hairy in other ways, like some kind of weird It is possible that there's other thing. things that live in the bulk. I mean, last night I was calculating away, <laughs> <laughs> okay, looking nice. at something that lives in the bulk. 